Guys, we're gonna do some beautiful, big old Wagyu beef burgers. Freshly ground Wagyu beef burgers coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, so you get alerts on all that we're doing here. And while we're out, hit the thumbs up too. All right, if you're ready to share this one, you're gonna wanna share it, trust me. All right, so today, freshly ground Wagyu brisket and short rib. <laughs> Uh, burgers on the Ninja Foodie Group. All right, y'all. So <laughs> I'm excited about this one. You know why? Because I get to break out another gadget to get where we want to be. All right. So some of you guys may know that I actually have a barbecue channel, and I'll put the link for it right here. All right. So if you're into some good barbecue, you check it out. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I did a lot of brisket. I do a lot of short ribs. You know, I mean, there's only so much proteins you can barbecue. So. Anyway, I had a Wagyu beef brisket and a Wagyu uh, beef short ribs that I've recently cooked. And in, in order to make those, you know, how I want them to be, there comes a lot of trimming involved, okay? So what do you do with all those trimmings? Well, the silver skin you trim out of, you throw it away. But the fat, the little extra meat that gets caught in there, you take it and you grind it up. Right. What we're gonna do today is bust out the kitchen grinder attachment to the KitchenAid stand mixer, which Mrs. CJ swears by. I don't use too often, I'm not a baker, but we're gonna add that grinder attachment to it. We're gonna grind up all this beautiful beef trimmings, Wagyu brisket, tons of fat. You know what fat means, it's flavor. All right, so we're just grinding it. We're gonna take a nice rough grind. We want these burgers to be meaty, full of good texture, and that's what we're gonna get, all right? We're gonna take these, get them in nice softball size, uh, clumps of meat, <laughs> balls of meat, and then we're gonna smash them down to real thick, uh, real thick cut burgers, all right? And we're gonna smack them into that Ninja Foodie Grill screaming hot, and we're gonna have an awesome dinner with these beautiful Wagyu beef hamburgers. All right, so what we're gonna do real quick is after we form these burgers, we're gonna put some of Uncle Steve's thick meat. Link down below for Uncle Steve. We love Uncle Steve, he's a great guy. Uh, not affiliate, nothing like that. He don't pay me to say it. I just love his uh, seasonings. I will never say I love his thick meat, but it's good. God. All right, guys, and if you're interested in doing this, I know a lot of you probably have the KitchenAid at home. I'll put a link down below for the grinding attachment. You know, you could buy your own brisket, you could buy your own short rib, all that stuff, chuck, sirloin and you can grind it up and make your own hamburgers, all right? So I'll put the link for that attachment down below. Make sure you get it, all right? Let's get over to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as My Kitchen Island. My Kitchen Island. All right, let's get started. All right, let's get this thing on. Let's get it preheated. We're gonna use grill high. Okay, start. It's gonna take seven, eight minutes to get preheated, and then we'll get these burgers in. All right, guys, let's get these burgers in. You know you're gonna get that sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. All right, let's shut it down, see what happens. Okay, guys, we're five minutes in. I'm gonna do a little temp check. I'm gonna take them to about 130, 
Maybe give them a quick flip. When we flip them, we're going to add the cheese to them. All right, guys, these burgers were not pressed very hard. So when I flip them, a couple of them started coming apart a little bit, but that's okay. There's some good nubbins in there anyway. We're gonna add some cheese to them. That'll definitely hold them together. All right, so we got one with lots of mozz on it. We got it. one with some American. America. I'm gonna do the second one over here with American also. And then by the time that all melts together, we should be ready to eat these bad boys. All right, guys, this is looking good. The cheese is nice and melted. We're looking good in there. Got the plain one for the, the plain eater. And we got, um, oh, look at that mozzarella one. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. All right, let's pull these out. I'll take a picture, we'll come back and see. All right, guys, we're done. Our burger turned out amazing. Let's take a bite. You guys can see it. You know, I cut up all that extra goodies with it. That's just for the thumbnail. If you guys know me, you know I like it plain with just a little cheese. With just a little cheese. It's awesome. All right. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is definitely something you guys should do. Get yourself one of these grinders. We're going to eat this dinner right now. Uh, if you want to get a Ninja Foodie Grill, one of the grinders, CJ merch, any of that stuff, the links are all down below. Check them out. If you want to get one of these nice doll strong knives that I use to cut up all the veggies or the personalized cutting board, links are down below. Both of those, doll strong and Haley Home, have they have coupon codes. Make sure you use them. Save you a little bit of cash. If you want to become a producer of Cooking with CJ, Put this link right here, become a Patreon member. Get your name at the end of the videos. Little extra things along the way. Listen, I appreciate y'all being here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.